Hi everyone, welcome to Fleetway Gaming. I'm Flea for Your Lives, and my Master Commander over there is... Karina. And we are revisiting Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is a, a game that we played uh, quite a bit over the years, but uh, it's sadly been absent from our playlist for about almost two years now, and a lot's changed. Alpha 2 point, or Alpha 1.2, whatever, Alpha 12, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> The newest version just came out, and uh, we're checking out this game since it's, it's literally been two years almost since the last time we enjoyed this game. So here we are. Indeed, uh, and if this is the first time you're joining us, welcome. And uh, hopefully you enjoy what you see, and you'll remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share it with all of your friends, <laughs> and hey, comment below and say hi. We'd love to meet you. Absolutely. So what is this game about? Well, it's kind of like a, uh, well, obviously a survival game, but uh, you can craft uh, your own, like, airplanes, hover vessels, starships, and you basically go around the galaxy conquering planets and destroying the alien menace. <laughs> At least we think, anyway. That's how it was back in our day. Yeah. So anyway, let me set up the uh, the new game here. Yeah, you're not showing up in my friends list yet. Server starting, hun. Okay. Oh, there you are. All right, here we go. I'm hosting a local co-op game so we can play together. Obviously, connecting the server. Now I'm loading in. So here we go. Fresh start. We haven't played this game in a long time, so we don't know what to expect, or what we're going to do. Yay, can't wait. Yeah, I we played the crap out of this game. We built many bases and built our own ships, even though they sucked. <laughs> well, I mean, we built other people's patterns and all sorts of stuff. Went to different planets and different systems. They were great. in different systems, weren't they? <laughs> I don't even remember anymore. Oh, there oh, definitely is now. Oh, I think I see you right below me going down still, too. Yeah. So here we are. Going down. <laughs> now, the backdrop is where we are part of a spaceship, and uh, we had a catastrophic error. We're lone survivors. That's why we're starting off in an escape pod. Okay, when you get out, watch out, because uh, I'm coming down. <laughs> Right next to you. Yep, I see you. Yeah. <laughs> nice landing. That hurt. <laughs> so don't forget to get the stuff out of your escape pod. Food, water, survival tent. That's always handy. Or scanner. I'll do for now. Okay. Clarifies. Ba 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 ba. Got it. Um, where'd my thing go? What thing? Oh. It interrupted me. Hold on. Did I drop it? Yeah, of course. Better pick it up. I'm trying to. There we go. Oh, <sighs> open PDA. F1. Yep, yep, yep. We got it. Open inventory. Yep, yep. Zoom energy bar. You got it. Use health pack. You got it. There you go. All your stats are there in the bottom left. You got your health, your hunger levels, your stamina, and your oxygen levels. But we're basically in our uh -oh. PJ, so we don't have any oxygen. It's unfriendly. Optical fiber. Something's in here hurting me, I think. Careful. Radiation. Yeah. Looks like there's plenty of stuff to steal, though. 
I'm stealing. I don't care. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see, that reminds me. Do we have to set up the faction stuff like we always do? Yep. No. Oh, okay. Faction ate me. Oh, dear. What should we call our yeah, faction? Nah, well, we'll just keep it simple. I mean, there's a yellow marker in here. Enter code. Uh-oh. Code. Identification failed. I think you need to join oh, my okay. faction there. Oh, okay. Ooh. Um, I can't remember what the heck we're doing here. Uh, it's in the... Like, the group icon, fourth from the left. There we go. Um, I can apply for you. Yeah, apply. Yay! There you go. Awesome sauce. Now we are allied. We are the same faction. Everything we build, we both can use. All that good stuff. Yay! Alright, now... The tutorial wants us to pick up some ore, so let's go equip our handy dandy survival tool, which kind of sucks, but hey, it's what you get at the start. You hit right mouse button, it opens up this menu, you can switch it to defensive mode, salvage for like tearing apart crash structures and, and uh, blocks and stuff, and resource drill, you can drill into rocks and get the resources. And we don't just want any plain Jane rock like this. Well, we kind of do, but you get crushed stone out of it, and you get a lot of that just naturally, so. Definitely stuff in here. Yeah. There she goes, Luton, ladies and gentlemen. Can't help it. It's in my DNA. It's loot, loot. <laughs> Where's the loot? Picked it up. Oh. Alright. Don't worry, I'll share. Oh. Harvest two things and then craft an energy bar. So to craft, you start off with the survival constructor. You can see it right here. And uh, this is basically your minimum survival thing. You can only do so much. So you just fire it up. Get the uh, stupid craft energy bar thing out of the way and the tutorial will take us along. You can see in the bottom right hand corner it kind of shows you what you're looking at. Rock drill. Uh, it should just say rock but whatever. Okay, we've re received a distress message. And it's pretty far over there. Alright, whatever. You definitely want to craft or pick up everything that you see because you get experience points. Ooh, nice find. She found an iron rock and it drops little iron chunks. You definitely need you need everything at this point, so Yep. <laughs> Don't discriminate. Mm -mm. A little plant protein. Oh, there's some more iron. I feel like I'm doing yeah, all the talking we're here. <laughs> we're going to need of iron. <laughs> yep. So in this game, there's definitely like a tech tree and a uh, progression of skills and progression of crafting. So here we're basically just trying to round up all the basic resources as much as we can 
so we can craft the intermediate stuff and then you get enough of that we can craft the advanced stuff if you've played survival games you know that's kind of the gameplay loop uh, it's no different with Empyrean it's uh, I don't have the words I just like this game a lot I, I have a lot of fun with it Yeah, there. I mean, there's. It's one of those games with so much to do. And, uh, you know, and you, you start right from the bottom. Like, you have nothing except what you land on the planet with. So, and from there, we're expected to, like, build our own little empire, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it can definitely feel overwhelming at first. I mean,. When she, oh, yeah. when she suggested this game to me the first time, I was totally overwhelmed. In it fact, can be crazy oh. overwhelming at first. Yeah. Dinosaurs. Now, not every yeah. creature that you see is going to be hostile. There are friendly ones. so <laughs> Not many. <laughs> yeah, those dinosaurs do not want to eat us. Thank God. Yeah. So here we are, we've approached the location of that distress, but distress signal, and it's got lockers to loot, so I'm going to take a peek. Oh look, a handgun. Thank you. Ooh. Ammo. Get a motorbike no. construction kit, so you can make your own motorcycle, a core, but you need to build a base. Bunch of seedlings for growing crops. And some ore. You or Yeah. We can also start stripping down this wreck to so you switch your yeah. drill to salvage. And bam. Now you gotta be careful when you're salvaging. Uh, this game definitely has a structural integrity system. So there's I took out the support. A chunk fell. Oh and now you can pick up debris. That is so awesome. And? Yeah. Oh, nice. What happens to Yeah, before it, it used to just, um, it just fell, and it, like, it disappeared. Yeah. Not sure if I'm hitting it. <laughs> Not hitting that. I mean, you typically want to start from the roof down. <laughs> I have indigestion. Uh oh. Yeah, that's the other thing. You, uh, you end up getting like little annoying, you know, illnesses and or you get radiation poisoning or, <laughs> you know, <laughs> any sort of silliness that, that you would normally you get parasites from eating alien stuff. Wow, parasites is terribly annoying. Because it, it just continually saps your um, health until you die, <laughs> or until you cure it. So, if at all possible, do not get um, chewed <laughs> by any alien, bitten by any alien. Oh, connection to player field loss. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, yeah, you're, uh, you're warping around. Uh -oh. I still see back now. Yeah, I'm shooting. Yeah, as um, Flea mentioned, there is a structural integrity aspect to this. So, yeah, you take one wrong block in the wrong order, <laughs> and everything can collapse yep, and so it's quite it's quite the sight <laughs> if you hit the end key which is default it brings up this building menu and you can it gives you a bunch of options and in the debug you can see show structural integrity and everything goes green the brighter green it is the more integrity it has so here what's you can see it's going dark 
It's losing integrity and everything else around it that needs it needed that integrity obviously shifts color. But it's really handy to have access to that so that you can build structures that are sound. <laughs> yeah. You can't just build like a, a huge thing with one little pillar supporting it. It will definitely come apart. I mean, you used to be able to when this game was um, brand newly into, uh, into early access. There you see it went red. It means it had no integrity, so it came off. But yeah, they uh, instituted that quite some time ago. Yeah, we were still playing the game when that was around. There, everything's getting darker. And you're about to see a collapse here. Let's see. Uh, right now, we're obviously not under attack by any aliens. Uh, this is the starter planet. It's going to kind of keep it a little easy for you when you're first starting out. You get a couple of days of, uh, you know, just kind of getting everything set up before they start throwing all that nasties at you. At least that's how it used to be. What was your favorite aspect of playing this game? I don't think she heard me. What What's your favorite aspect of playing this game? Yeah, I uh, I don't know if she can hear me or not. <laughs> Uh oh, did you lose connection? No, can't hear you. God bless the internet, folks. We'll get her answer sometime. Hear me yet? Yep, there you are. Hear me now. Yeah, I hear you. Excellent. <laughs> this could be a great recording. Yeah. Um, my favorite part of the game, well, my favorite part of any game, <laughs> let's face it, is looting. <laughs> and there can be a lot of that in this game if you want there to be. Um, anytime you come across like alien structures and, and whatnot, I mean, there's danger from the aliens usually. But there's also pretty much guaranteed to be, guaranteed to be at least something of use um, sure. that you can, you know, that you can loot. And sometimes, just in order to get yourself off of this one planet, you have to start um, attacking alien bases and whatnot to get the parts that aren't normally available here. So, Absolutely. I mean, so I don't know. That just gives me even more incentive to enjoy the loot, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So Can here, this is the uh, the quick look at the tech tree. Uh, we're starting with the weapons. So these are all the handheld weapons that you can carry. There's multiple tiers, but, you know, you get your traditional, you know, rockets and machine guns and sniper rifles and so even some lasers and some rocket launchers and uh, even a badass minigun but yeah you gotta have the available points to unlock these and we're not just gonna worry about that right now as you can see there's quite a lot of things to unlock especially in some of the like in the base and uh, capital vessel category and they all have their own separate points values. 
I'm level two. <laughs> I have ten points, so I'm not gonna be unlocking this stuff anytime soon. Yep, uh, kind of limited here, so I'm just gonna start off with unlocking a portable constructor. Yay! Yeah. And I'm gonna go to my survival constructor and get that bad boy started. So we can start refining some of this steel plates and stuff that we're uh, getting off this salvage wreck here and turn it into something more useful. Ooh, they even start you off with a little heater. Ain't that cute? Yeah. It does get cold at night, and since we're basically wearing space pajamas, you will be using this thing. I do remember that. That's been around for a while. Yeah. I remember it being uh, pretty chilly <laughs> and needing to hunker near that thing for quite a while. Yeah. Um, let's see, tools. So it's taken me a little bit to get this bad boy up. Bam. So don't forget to take it out of your output and into your inventory. Level, I'm only at level two. Yeah, so. me too. So there, you just watch me place it. Now we have a little more advanced constructor and some advanced options. We can start refining parts. So to do that, you just you need to click and drag or hold down the shift and left mouse button and click on a stack and it'll put it all in there for you. So, as you can see, there's a lot of different things you could make. Uh, this, it, this, it's like a tier two constructor, for lack of a better term. So it's not going to give you the best stuff, but it gives you enough to like build basic things, like your starter hover vessel and a handy little motorbike. Thank you much. So now. I need to construct. So I'm putting together a another portable constructor. Looks like we can have two. The thing looks damaged. Oh well. What else can we build here? Well, somewhere I picked up a core, so we can build a building, like have a structure. I also have some electronics. Oh, there's the motorbike construction kit. That's good. Okay. Well, the nice thing here is that it does tell you what your ingredients you need, so you're not just working blind, but you do have to yeah. find these things. Yep, you got your different uh, templates. You got food, medicine, uh, tools, or weapons. Uh, blocks for construction which is a whole separate animal uh, these are refining you can make ingots turn crushed stone into things you need so like all the things you see you can eventually turn it into something else which is handy okay how do you make the bike again <laughs> uh, you dump the, the construction thing into it Didn't really need to put the core in there, but what? you put your oh yeah. Another handy thing: don't forget to set it to uh, allow faction access. So we each can access each other's constructors and dump things in there and uh, 
You can basically oh, set it up however it. you want. You can have one dedicated to food, the other dedicated to refining things and making things and all that jazz. There you go. I can't remember. Do they need fuel? <laughs> you know what? That's a good question. No. I don't think so. But they're not maneuverable. And uh, you will, you're you not really protected on it. So it's really just for getting somewhere quick. <laughs> yeah. Faster and run. Let's see. My favorite part of this game was definitely getting that, like, production loop going. Like, you get, you need iron, so you mine iron. You get iron turned into uh, ingots. Then you get the ingots turned into construction blocks. And then, you know, then you start building your spaceship. I definitely love the spaceship part. That's, that was awesome. <laughs> yes. Lee could spend hours and hours and hours <laughs> just building his spaceship and uh, retrofitting different, more advanced parts onto it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely just enjoy that. Getting it so it uh, is customized to his desires. <laughs> well, I like things that function. Functionality. Nope. I don't really give a shit if it's ugly. If it works and it works awesomely, I don't care. That's fine with me. Oh, you know what? I'm going to build what? a freaking flashlight. If I can. Um, yep, yep. I cannot. I do not have any optical fiber. Okay, what do I need? I have optical for? fiber. How many, how many? How many do you need? I need silicon. I need I have... one. Okay. Um... You know what? I don't think it. I don't think it's gonna matter because I think you need a suit. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm dying. Why are you dying? Because I got paris. I leaving? got indigestion. Oh no. <sighs> There we go. Hold on, let's see. I have stomach pills. Yeah, they that... have in they fix indigestion. Yeah, I could use one of those. Okay. Um let's see how we can we do this again. Four. Drop it on the ground. And Z. There you go. Thank you. I put um stuff in the constructor here. Hold on. Wasn't quite done yet. I don't think we're going to be able to use a flashlight because we don't have suits. We're in our space PJs. Oh. Um, shoot. Right? Remember? Yeah. Anyway, I, bu I dropped a bunch of shit in there. And if you can build a flashlight, build me one. I cannot. Well, I can, but it's just not going to work. Yeah. I can build a handgun. I think I have a handgun. I have a handgun, but I'm not sure that I have any bullets. Oh, wait, yes, I do. I have some rounds, too. Okay, what else can we build here that we're going to need? Well, a suit of armor sure would be nice. But. Yeah. <laughs> you better take some health packs there. Your health is at half. I 
have what, an emergency ration. I've got some, uh, what do you call it? So there, we crafted our little uh, survival tent, put the heater next to it. I don't remember what we needed to use that damn thing. So let's open up the map. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff right around us. In our own little corner of the world. Yeah. Hey, did they open up the polar regions yet? I don't know. I crafted a motorbike and I deployed it, you stupid tutorial. Hey, what happened to mine? Oh, yeah. <sighs> it's going to be like that, huh? There, crafted another one for no reason. <laughs> no, no, really? I'm just trying to get the tutorial stuff out. Weapon and ammo, craft, okay. Yeah, that's why I didn't turn it on. Yeah, I'm kind of wishing I didn't. It's nothing that we didn't know. Well don't really remember all, everything, you know? I was hoping maybe you get some free XP out of it. Oh, I did! Yay! Did you? Oh, that's yeah. good. So, now I got some points to spend, and I'm going to unlock something that handier, I guess. Multi-tool is always nice. <laughs> I don't blame you. And some weapons. Why not? Yeah. Start unlocking some things for the hover vessel. Man, who wants me to access this thing? <laughs> a little far away from that now. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. I would turn it off. And... Um, I can't turn it off now. Uh... Yeah. Oh, well. It'll be bitching at me the whole time. Great. I mean, it's not really cold. You don't really need this, do you? <laughs> I don't know. It might get cold later. Counting on you to keep you warm. <laughs> Hell yeah. Aw, oh, shit. Okay. I should unlock the shotgun. I can't build an assault rifle here. Well, honestly, I think we've gotten, like, a lot of stuff we needed here. I think we need to move on and try to find some suits. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, 
I'd just drop a container. Mine was empty. I can't carry that stuff. I'm all full. Okay. You do have a weight limit now. Um, I can't. Uh, I'll carry your bike. <laughs> ah, just leave the bike. Too late. Okay, where are we gonna head to? Um. Here. Small iron deposit, 151 meters. Is that what you set? No. Oh. It's that way. There's a damaged hover bike just over here. Nope. Oh, something over there. Hold on. Oh, was that your marker? Nope. Uh oh. There's something 302 meters that way. Go. <laughs> I went to the damaged hover bike. Oh. Ah. Uh, I think it wants us to fix this thing. I had to restrip it down. I vote we strip it down. This thing? I can't pick any of this up. Yeah, I can. She be gone. Alrighty. Yep, not bad. Got a few things out of it. <sighs> yeah, I got a bunch of things out of it. Couple of three capacitor devices, some more optical fiber. Motor, a bunch of electronics. Cool. I 
think I'm just going to leave this thing here. Free up some weight. This going to be our little camp for now? Sure. All right. All right, what else we got? All sorts of stuff to the east again. Copper to the northeast. Is that iron to the south? Yeah, we don't really have drills though. That's good that that stuff's close. Can't see anything. Riding through the trees on our motorcycle. Great. Whee! Oh, ouch. Check out this wreckage here, see if we can't find anything useful. Too bad I can't see anything. There you go. Thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, found it. Alright, what do we got? Stomach pills, yay, and electronics, yay. That's it. No armor. That's it? No, nothing. But I did level up, so I'm going to buy a shotgun. Oh, glad somebody's leveling up. Alright, what do we got? find out what that red thing is? Probably something that's going to kill us. Actually, let me see what's here. Found another cargo box. Had some steel plates in it. That's it. You all right over here? Oh dear, somebody lost their internet. Well, anyway, this seems like a good place to end this. Uh, kind of like the basic 
what what you expect to do when you're starting off in this game and uh you know it's kind of a pain in the ass to get started but once you get going it gets easier and you discover more things and just keep the progression loop going so anyway uh thanks for watching and if you like what you see please uh Give us a thumbs up. We, uh, we're a small channel. We could use the support. And, uh, yeah, uh, share with your friends. And uh, if you like what you're hearing from us, please consider subscribing. And uh, come back to our channel and check out some of our other videos of games that we have. And uh, until next time, uh, for Karina, this is Flea for Your Life saying bye-bye. Thanks for watching. And take care of yourself.